Stay tuned to find out how to make this display board. So we're starting with this board that I've used in a few of my previous videos where I have done clay projects and I really wanted to give it a newer look. So I'm taking this washi tape and I'm going to measure how wide it is, which is about one inch. And then I'm going to use that as my template for my marble contact paper. I'm going to measure an inch around each four sides to mark where I will be cutting the marble contact paper. And this is going to be our main center of our new display board. Now when I cut the paper, I cut just a little bit shy of the one inch mark that I marked off just so that when I apply the washi tape, it'll look seamless and there won't be any spaces. And this will help if you are like me and cannot cut a straight line to save your life. <laughs> then I am measuring off that one inch mark so that I can know exactly where I am going to put my marble contact paper so that it'll be as close to the center of the board as possible. I'm using the ruler to make sure that the contact paper goes down as smooth as possible. You want to make sure that there's no bubbles or air pockets underneath. So this will just help smooth everything down. Next I'm taking the washi tape in this really pretty purple pattern and I'm going to apply it to each of the four sides of the board making sure that I leave enough extra washi tape to go over the sides of the board and wrap around to the other side. You wanna leave this extra so that everything looks cohesive in the end. And I'm gonna show you what I mean in the next couple of slides. So you just go around, try to make the washi tape go on, matching the ends as seamlessly as possible. And don't mind my big fluffy sweater that I'm wearing <laughs> to make the sides look finished I am utilizing the rest of the marble contact paper that was left from me cutting out the main middle piece and this will give the board a little bit more of a finished look in the next slide I'm going to show you how I folded my corners and when you see it it will be without the marble contact paper because I realized that I needed to add this to the sides after the fact. So this dress will make sure that the board looks completely finished. So here is how I folded my corners to make them look neat. So you fold down your first piece of washi tape and then you fold down your second one and it gives us this really pretty and very neat corner. And here is our finished DIY display board. I think that it came out really nicely and it looks a lot better than the board that I had when we started. On the other side, I did leave it unfinished. The only thing I did was add a little bit more washi tape to secure the ends that were folded over. But other than that, I left it to where if I decide to do any more clay projects, I can still utilize the other side of this board and then whatever finished products I make I can do my pictures on top of this board and it will give it a more clean aesthetic look I really like how this turned out you guys know I love my marble contact paper and see look how it elevates the display of our DIY flower uh, candle holders that we did last week just it really is just a really pretty picture so tell me down below if you guys would make this display award
Thanks for joining me for another video this week. I really enjoyed making this board over. I've had it for so long and I really did not like how it looked before. But now it has two uses. One as a medium to take pictures of finished projects that I do. And on the other side, I can use it if I need to do any clay projects or anything that's messy. It still has two uses and I love duality. Anyways, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment down below. And make sure you have your bell turned on for notifications for each Tuesday when I upload another video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you guys are staying safe throughout this pandemic. Make sure you stay home and wash your hands. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. Always keep creating. And I love you guys. Bye.